Hi, afternoon. Well, welcome to Make Family History 7. Give us a like below. Help us out a bit. Um, the, this is our newsletter between February and March. And in February, we were able to find some more resources on the Pyrrhus Brick Wall. That's my family name. Uh, my paternal family name. And then what it's turned out to be are some older newspapers. Unfortunately, they are not... Um, in searchable databases so I'm not really sure how to attack this uh, but it's there so I shall have to get to it. Uh, we finally saw the results in February of the repair to my grandparents grave site. It's now leveled and it looks really good. It's been set back and the unveiling of the third great grandparents um, tombstone as well which has me very excited. That this is our first chance to take a look at it and did have to take some time to uh, clean up just the letters. So it was sort of cold outside so I didn't want to bring a bucket and some water and start scrubbing um, but I did take a little wipes and, and clean the letters off and uh, so they stand out a little bit and we were able to see what was written on on the tombstones for my third great-grandparents Sophia and John Mitchell. And let's see. Oh, I am thinking that I should upload these to find a grave. One I got there, okay? And the other ones I still have to do, mostly because I have so little um, information on him. I have tons of information on her. It's really easy to write a bio. And I've done that. And for him, I have to say that I know very little except for where he's from and I don't know whether to wait and try to find some more information on him or to just upload the photo to find a grave for him. Either way, I'll let you know later if I decide to do something big and, you know, glorious for John Mitchell. Uh, otherwise, I will be uh, adding some posts, I think, on preserving our heritage starting in March. I'm seeing so many people with their trees, as I talked about the other day on the video, and it's in databases, and the more and more research I do and the more years I do it, I find the more that the, the websites actually, after about five years or 10 years, the websites are no longer there. The links may change in five years, but sometimes in 10 years, the, the websites are gone too. So there has to be a better way. And I think that would be recording it uh, on paper somehow. So let's explore that issue uh, starting in March. And it'll be on and off. And I think it would be great if we all join together and get our information out there. You guys have a really, really good afternoon. Talk to you later.